now we will talk about the terminal velocity of big object in the air i have told you the drag force acting on the body which is falling vertically downward in the air so now let this is an object this is falling vertically downward the drag force acts on the body in the upward direction fd this is the object this is the mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration that will give you the weight of the object so now let m equal to mass of big object the drag force fd equal to drag force and we know that this fd is equal to 1 by 2 c rho a into v square i have told you the name of these terms the c the coefficient drag coefficient rho the density of the air a the cross section of the object and v the velocity so the body is moving vertically downward so this is now force that is here this is now velocity v so now definitely there will be a force now this is the net force force so net force will be how much force acting on the body number 1 the weight of body so this is equal to mg number 2 drag force drag force fd so this is now acting vertically downward and this is acting vertically upward so net force will be how much net force this f equal to mg minus fd so this f is equal to ma equal to mg minus this is now your fd so now this a equal to g minus fd upon m this is the equation of motion it is equation of motion of the body of the body now when there is a equilibrium then the net force on the body is zero so in that case the body gains a constant velocity in equilibrium f equal to 0 and body attains a constant velocity
called terminal velocity. Terminal velocity. So now if we have these in the form of the graph like this, here we have the acceleration. Here this we draw the acceleration. Acceleration on this and here we have the velocity. Velocity. Then we can uh, draw the graph like this. Here this is the acceleration a equal to g. This is now your 0. So acceleration is maximum. So at this point, a equal to g. So here the velocity is equal to 0, v equal to 0. But at this point, acceleration equal to 0. Here this a is equal to 0. So now v is maximum at this point. So let this is now point a or this is give the point p, this is now we give the point q. So this line represents this equation. So in equation 1 a equal to 0 equal to g minus fd upon m or we have this fd is equal to mg. Fd this is now your half c rho a into vt square equal to mg. Vt the terminal velocity. Terminal velocity. So now we can have that this expression for this Vt. So this Vt equal to two mg upon c rho a. This is not so much is square root. So now you can see that this terminal velocity is depending upon these factors m, g, c, rho and a. So now here this v equal to 0, this v equal to maximum, so this v maximum is equal to what? This is now vt, so we can write it to be now vt, v equal to vt. So this is the maximum velocity. it is maximum terminal velocity. So now this can be seen and if we have the spherical object for spherical object this m equal to four by three pi r q into sigma. 
sigma the or we can write it to be better root now capital d d the density of object or the radius of body we are taking the spherical body so this area of cross section will be how much here the a this is now your 4 pi r square this is now area of cross section so now if we put these values here then we can find Therefore, this Vt equal to square root of 2 mg in place of m, this is now your 4 by 3 pi r q d into g upon c rho into 4 pi r square. So now you can have that this 4 pi will cancel r square will also be cancelled by this one. So now we will have this vt equal to square root 4 2 now this will be cancelled. So this is now 2 by 3. This is now your r d g upon c rho. This is now expression for terminal velocity. So, <clears throat> it is the formula of terminal velocity right so now we can have that this vt depends upon dependence of vt now number one vt is proportional to r the radius of the object. So, larger this is now square root of r square root of r. So, when the size of the object increases the terminal velocity will increase and second this vt is proportional to square root of d the density of the object. So, heavier the body then heavier more will be the terminal velocity. And number three, this Vt is proportional to square root of g. As the body comes down towards the earth, the value of g increases. So, as the value of g increases, this Vt also increases. So, these are the increasing factors of this terminal velocity. And fourth, this Vt is proportional to 1 upon square root of rho rho the density of the air so the density of the air is very small so because of that this vt is large one so all these factors having the increasing value of the terminal velocity now for spherical bodies body this c equal to 0.5 for spherical body. And in general, if suppose we are not considering the spherical body, the body is of any kind of shape, 
then we have this Vt is equal to so much. So, this is Vt is proportional to the mass of the object. Heavier the body, more is this value of g, the gravitational acceleration. As the body comes down towards the earth, then value of g increases, so Vt also increases. And this c, the coefficient, the drag coefficient, rho the density of the air, and this a, the area of cross section. So, larger will be the body then what will happen? The cross sectional area will be large one. So, because of that this Vt will be small. So, then this terminal velocity depends upon these factors. And if we consider the spherical body, then we are having these factors which affect the terminal velocity of the object. So, this expression is only for the bodies which are very big in size and they fall vertically downward in the air. So, thank you very much.